Hi everyone, it's Debbie Mirza, the author of The Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist. And today I wanna to talk to you about another trait of a covert um, narcissist. And that is they project their own issues onto you and in a very covert, subtle way so you don't notice them doing it. Um, so you take those on and think that that's actually true about you. So oftentimes one really good exercise if you want to do this is to list and there's usually a long list <laughs> because covert narcissists are known for and narcissists both all types of narcissists are known for having a list of everything that's wrong with you and everything that needs to be changed about you um, for this relationship to work so it's really helpful to write down a list of everything they've ever either blatantly said to you or things that you have you feel from them that they think of you and write all those down and then take a look at that list and ask yourself is this actually true of them so one thing I've noticed in talking to so many people about this is there are really common things that covert narcissists will say about you. And those are you're controlling, you're manipulative, um, you're lazy. Those are three top ones that I hear all the time. So if you really look at it, the first two especially are attributes, traits of a narcissist. They're very controlling, they're very manipulative, and they're quite lazy <laughs> relationship-wise. They might not be a lazy person in life, but relationship-wise they're quite lazy because they're not interested in working through things, in finding peace, in um, connecting with you on a mature level. So if you feel like doing that list, I think it would be really, really helpful because it's hard to differentiate, you know, when they are coming at you with, you know, well, you do this and, you know, you're like this and I can't work with this and this, there's no way this relationship is going to work because of this about you. It's, it's easy to just be bombarded by all this stuff and question yourself, you know, am I really this and I'm not seeing it in myself? You know, am I controlling? Am I manipulative? I don't think I am. Well, sometimes I do things that are a little manipulative. You know, and sometimes they'll tell you things that there might be a grain of truth, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, like they might say, um, if it, uh, they might put you down for some way that you look or um, your weight or, uh, you know, just things that are just dumb, that have nothing to do with how valuable you are. So anyway, my main point here is to notice, and they're really crafty at this. Um, I talked to someone whose therapist said, um, your, your um, partner is so crafty that she starts out sentences um, that appear really humble and really kind and really caring and you get so wooed by that you don't notice that she is making something your fault by the end and and making you feel shame about something that actually has nothing to do with you so it's very easy these people don't um, they're not honest with themselves about their own issues so what they do is project them onto you and you, without realizing it, take these on and think that they are your issues when in fact they're not. In fact, a lot of people, especially if you're very empathic, if you pick up you know, what other people are feeling, can actually take on things that insecurities, that f you can take on insecurities from them that feel like your insecurities. And then oftentimes what happens is then when you're when you've left this person or you're going no contact with a parent um, or a friend, all of a sudden you realize this actually is not my issue. I actually don't have this insecurity. Why did I 
feel it so strongly with this person and now it's really not very strong. So it's really important to notice that um, and make that list. Make a list of everything they've said about you to your face or to other people um, and go through it and ask yourself, is this actually true about them? I think this will be a really enlightening process for you. Lots of love to you today.